All right, the earth itself is flush with resources and it is up to us to simply dig our hands in, pull it out and drink our fill. That means that it is time to start building some pump jacks. Yeah. So where is my manual? I shouldn't have been keeping my manual on me. Was I keeping my manual on me when I died to that butterfly? Is it not in any of these chests? Oh boy. Well, the good news is I really do think that it was caused by the dynamic trees. Those seed pods. Wait, one more look, one more look. No, it's not in there, okay. So we just need to replace it. That's simple. Where are the books? Where are the books? I should have some just generic blank books. There's at least one. They aren't too bad to build even if I was missing them. Okay, let's not lose this one. So to make a pump jack, what we're gonna need is 11 steel scaffolding, some treated wood fence, fluid pipes, redstone engineering blocks. Honestly, nothing too terribly bad. Pump jacks are relatively cheap. Now the question is not if it's time to build a pump jack. It is time to build a pump jack. The question is what exactly do we want to use it on? Obviously oil is a good choice, but also, is this done? Is this even running? Yeah, that, that's been run good. So obviously oil is a good choice. Oil is what we're looking to work up towards so that we can achieve full automation of quite a lot of things because oil will unlock build craft to us. However, I'm also tempted by that liquid copper. Having access to liquid copper would make creating another pump jack, for example, quite a lot easier. And really we can't make use of crude oil without a distillery. So what is a distillery cost? Distil distillation tower, forgive me. Yeah, lots of scaffolding, lots of fluid. It doesn't cost much in the way of blocks. The most expensive part of it is probably those four heavy engineering blocks. Because yeah, that's 60 iron sheet metal. That's a lot, but that's essentially just 60 ingots of iron. Just turned into plates and then crafted. So yeah, the distillation tower isn't too bad. Hmm. Well, you know, there's nothing stopping us from moving the pump jack around once we build it. And we could just use it on the copper field to get our, like, a box full of copper gears, a box full of copper ingots, and then move it over to the oil field. Either way, either way. Okay. We have the means to make us another batch of steel, so let us make us another batch of steel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And just bung all of that right on in there. Let it all just sit in there. Let it all melt together. What have we got sitting in the box right now? We've got a pretty good mess of copper. Is that Electrum? No, that's bronze. Eh, yeah, let's empty out everything. It's a bit heavy, but that's why we have the concrete floors to help us speed along even when we're overloaded. Eh, yeah, let's keep those in here. And this is essentially slime. Let's just convert it. I think I gain nothing keeping it as blood as versus converting it all to slime. Okay. So, what do I have in the way of steel right now? Uh, nothing in here. We should also empty all this out. Mm. 
Nothing in there. Mm. I have a stack of steel. Okay, well, let's at least work on some of the more uh, fiddly bits. So, for the pump jack, I'm going to need 11 steel scaffolding. I should have some already. Yeah, I've got five. Just need to make some more. Easy as cake. Next, I'm going to need some treated wood fence. So I'm going to need to make some more treated wood. Need some fluid pipes. Fluid pipe is dead easy. You just take some iron plate. And I think the arrangement is like this. Yeah. Yep. Redstone and light and heavy. And some steel sheet metal. Uh, I think the only one on there... Ah, okay. I have some steel sheet metal ready to assemble. There we go. Really? It weighs that much? Huh. Well, we can start keeping it all in a box, I suppose. Yep, that makes a bit more sense. And uh, what else? Uh, two blocks of steel, obviously. We have quite a lot of that saved up. In fact, let's move that to uh, save me from this tyranny, oh mighty box. If you... No, you can't see what's inside of it by mousing over it, unfortunately. Okay, so we need two of those blocks of steel. And from there, uh, da, 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 two heavy engineering. Yeah, okay. Well, let, let's take out the redstone engineering block that we need and let's start making some more. That's going to be where all the crafting comes from, I think. Come to it, it's probably time for me to start making some more iron mechanical components, which essentially means making a lot more iron plates. Yeah, that's what I need right now. Let's at least get the steel pouring out. By the time the rest of that iron melts, it'll be ready. Yeah, that's... Let's have it as steel ingots. If we need more blocks, we'll just melt them down again. Any other switches on? No. And we also need to make some treated wood. I should really burn some more creosote. So do I have any coal? I have a little bit. Hmm. I can also make creosote, I think, by just... Um, Burning wood into charcoal, yeah. Yeah, the, the coke oven does a one-to-one -one conversion of wood to charcoal. That is inferior to pretty much every other conversion method we have, I think, except possibly for the refractory burner. Hmm, lignite coke. Interesting. But that's also a really slow producer. A single coal will get us half a bucket. So I just threw in five buckets worth right now, as versus... As versus, uh, well, a stack of wood. Let's see. A stack of wood would be more, but it would be over a long period of time. Regardless, let's make as much treated wood as we can, simply because treated wood is continually useful. And that should also have a stack of ash in it at all times. Ash is very frequently used inside the carpenter. I think it needs to be wood planks, though. Yeah, there is no such thing as a treated wood log, is there? Not in this pack. Well, easy enough. And obviously, eventually, we're going to empty out all our jungle planks in 
to whatever we end up using them for and we'll convert over to sawmilling sequoia because yeah sequoia will sawmill and those planks are just useful for general wood purposes okay treated wood planks how many of those did i need i need fencing don't i yes so treated wood fence so that's planks sticks ah that needs wood pulp wood pulp is what you get just by oh dear i shouldn't have ah i spent all the creosote okay cool that's cool that's fine to get wood pulp all you do is you take wood and then you just give it water let's make a bit how much is it doing 250 per but that's also making so i need to give it uh 16 bucket six seven eight nine ten eleven ten. I overestimated. Oh well. A couple stacks of wood pulp is useful. Yeah, I definitely overcooked it. Okay. That's okay. Wood pulp has tons of uses. It's even used in making the new recipe for glue. Mostly it's used for various types of sawmilling, presumably as an abrasive, but it can be crafted into a bunch of different things. Yeah, these cartons. I think that's part of forestry item packing. No, that's that's making the pickaxe kit, and that's a tool mechanic that honestly I've never seen any use for. Even in packs that don't have tinkers in them, there's usually something better than the forestry pickaxe. Okay, so we just need to do this, this, and this, and give it, I don't know, that many. And uh, what liquid did it need? And, uh, and, uh, of course, it's gonna need creosote, isn't it? Yeah, it it do it do. I was preemptive in emptying out my creosote. Well, how you doing? You have exactly one bucket for me. Well, it'll have to do. So that's a lot of treated sticks, which will make a modern mint with more creosote oil. So we need to wait on that to burn down. But we just need to dupe dupe. And the three ash on top. And then all those. And I don't think I have much use for treated planks on their own right now. A reinforced storage crate is same storage as a just normal crate. It's just that... Um, it's just that it's blast proof. And since I'm keeping these in my inventory 90% of the time, I don't particularly care. Hmm. Fluid router. Yeah, it has a bunch of little intermediary uses. Oh, that's an automatic lubricator. I thought that was a garden cloche. Yeah, the capacitors. There's the garden cloche. Not that expensive, honestly. I think that heavy engineering block is the only really bad part. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Neat. Oh, you had one for me? Neat. Hmm. Unfortunately, at this moment, I can only move it bucket by bucket. I can't exactly move the carpenter over there to be poured into. Well, I could. No, I need a I need a casting channel to do that. I could get one. Right, it's in here. Just like a so. And then I'm also going to need a tap, of course. Of course. And 
And now I should be able to... Like, put a casting channel over here. We can just put a barrel right up against the wall. And put a tap on it. And that should allow us to pour into it very easily. And that's just our designated barrel unloading spot. So then, well, you're up to a bucket now anyway, but let's test our concept with another tap. So if I don't have a full bucket of creosote, I can just pour whatever I have into a barrel for transport. It takes a good little while for these things to empty. And then I should be able to put it over nya and pour it again. Does it need to be set to output? Where is my, there. That should be input, output. Boop, no. You are set to output, right? Shift click. Hmm. Are only the top and bottom configurable? Looking like it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. What we could do is we could take some fluid pipes because barrels automatically output. That'll do it. Still don't have quite enough, of course. And I'm out of treated wood is the problem. Hmm. That treated wood is a thirsty process. But we got some of what we need. And more importantly, we've made a slightly luxurious system. We've got our luxury for the day. Let's set this thing back to producing treated wood. And we just need to wait for, there we go, another bucket of creosote oil. I should go and find some more coal. Hmm. Well, we might, we should have just enough. Really though, hmm. No, no, we're going to need more treated wood for the excavator, aren't we? What does the excavator cost? Doesn't cost anything wooden. And what does the diesel? Blue pipe, heavy. Da, 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 da. I don't think the generator blocks or the radiator blocks. cost any wood. No, and... Uh, no. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. No, no. No, they essentially just cost butt tons of copper, really. Why you? Okay, there you go. Let's check the filter. I'm paranoid about the filter now. I suppose that's the argument for going straight for uh, straight for oil instead of the copper first. It gets me build craft faster. But I want infinite copper. I want it. Do I have anything in here? Okay, how you doing? Yeah, that's a bit. 
Hmm, that's enough for two more fences, right? I think that's exactly what I need. And it goes like this and this, right? Yep, sure do. All right, we're running really bare margins, I know, but we are getting exactly what we need. Now, has this finished pouring out the steel yet? Good. Now let's get us some more iron mechanical components so I can start building all the engineering blocks. Really, I should have done that before doing this steel melt because I think I don't really need any more steel at the moment. We'll need it later, of course. But it's what we did. Let's just melt all of it that we have on hand. Tasty, tasty wood chips, which we're actually kind of low on. Not that wood chips are a very difficult resource or anything. Hmm. Well, I guess, no, 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 no. Once that's melted and once that starts pouring, then I'll go and break into another ship and I'll start stripping that down. Because the pour is the thing that takes all the time, not the melt. Got nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, it's almost there. So yeah, we're running a little bit of a tight margin. Let's take the chest with us, even though it's already partially. Yeah, so notice that now that it's full of something, they don't stack. Can I name these on a tool table? No, I can't. I think I've tried that before, I just didn't remember. It used to be that you could name whatever you wanted on a tool table. Yeah, just let that be. There we go. 14 blocks of iron into plates for mechanical parts. Go! And now for me to go and achieve more stuff. Yeah, just more stuff in general. This is a general stuff run. So what is the most likely target? And that one, I suppose. E. Let's remove that one. Hmm. I could switch entirely to tank set, but I like having my diving tank on. It's nice, and I'm close to full armor, just like this. I suppose that if I went and did a little bit more window flipping or whatever, and I bought the reinforced diving tank, then that might be nice. I still don't know if the reinforced diving mask still has the rebreather behavior. If it doesn't, then it's not worth one armor in my opinion. Rebreather is totally the best mask. Hmm. It's something that I keep on telling myself I'm gonna satisfy that curiosity and test it in my, in my uh, creative world. And I keep forgetting. Like I go into my creative world and a bunch of other projects come to mind first before that one. All right, we should have F7 mode on. There we go. Ah. This one has already been broken into. Well, has this one already been completely stripped? If nothing else, it has loot chests. I can see that right away. Yeah, let's just break the beds too. Completely gut this thing.
it boggles me that beds do not stack. But it's fine. And yeah, let's put our two inventory management chests on our hot bar. Okay. Huh. I'm honestly surprised stuff didn't spawn while I was on my way up. But I won't complain. So yeah, it looks like I got the copper already. That's a bit of a tragedy. And let's just set this down. Let's, yeah, let's put everything that's heavy in there. And let's just strip her bare. Now we know already that there's one thing for nickel plates. And yeah, this is nickel blocks. And uh, that would be useful for making garden cloches. Garden cloches are one of the best farms out there in my opinion. Sure, let's pick up the diamonds. Let's pick up everything. We have the expanded inventory space for it now. There is no reason to be in anything but the the complete uh the complete uh, Mabudike Morgan mindset here. Resources exist to be consumed and consumed they will be. If not by us, then by some future generation. Is this silver or platinum? That's platinum. I don't think I can melt platinum blocks or anything, can I? I can melt them in a melter. Huh. Okay, I can melt them in a smelt. Oh, it requires 1100 degrees Celsius. I think lava doesn't get that hot. Can I even make pyrothium? It's in the pack, but I don't have a recipe for it yet. So, until I find some sort of way of decrafting these into ingots or otherwise achieving pyrothium, that is probably just a useless hunk of metal. Hmm. Well, obviously it chisels into a bunch of different forms. Are any of them at all useful? 1100. Eh, shipping crate there. Thermal, that's more likely. Yeah, 1100. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bit useless. So, question time. I am not really close to a crusher right now, I don't think. I mean, I could throw one together, obviously. It would be a bit of effort, but I have all the means. But I don't think it's on the high priority at the moment. And a crusher is what I would need to deal with these ores. If I just pick one of these up. Oh, that turned into diamond ore. Okay. Hmm. Weird behaviors. I didn't bring the hammer with me, so the point is moot. I'm not going to go back and get a hammer just to have a slightly different harvest. Let's move that box closer, too. Ah, beautiful. Radiation. That reminds me I should pick up a new Geiger counter. If we're going to play with radioactive ores, we might as well know just how badly we're being cooked. People get a bit panicky about radiation. It's fine. We probably won't be seeing anything, anything problematic until we start refining the stuff. A 
acute radiation poisoning from naturally occurring ores is pretty hard to do. I mean, it's a problem for something like coal miners because of pitch blend. Coal is actually... Coal burning plants spread more radiation than a proper nuclear power plant. And they don't just keep it in a nice little neat container of nuclear waste. They blast it out into the sky in the smog because all coal ore has a small amount of pitch blend inside of it. And pitch blend is an ore of uranium. And they are just essentially burning it and shooting it up into the sky. And that is bad. Of course, modern coal plants are much cleaner than that. They have all sorts of systems for dealing with that issue. Hmm. Looks like hematite. I can't use these at all. Wow. Neat. Oh, well. Shocking, you say? Okay. Yeah, nuclear power gets a real bad rap that it absolutely does not deserve. I've seen that turn around a little bit in modern days. But people are still just irrationally scared. And really, I think it's all just nimbyism. Not in my backyard. Nimby. If you want to know my thoughts on that matter, consult George Carlin. I don't agree with Carlin about everything, but I definitely agree on the uselessness of nimbyism. and proper redstone ore. Fascinating. Now, running this through a crusher would get us cinnabar. And that might be useful when we get up into thermal. At the very least, it can sometimes be useful in really high-tier ore processing for your ultra-valuable stuff. Okay, and I think all that should be left is the iron plating upstairs and the gold blocks surrounding the control unit. As well as some additional loot crates, always lovely. Let's just loot everything. Our smelter has probably emptied itself out by now. Hell, it probably could have done so a couple of times over. But at this point, we might as well give us no reason to ever come back to the ship again. And we'll mark it off on the map somehow so that we know that this is a spent resource. Did I pick up that was so heavy all of a sudden? Hmm, no telling, I suppose. Okay, let's get rid of these, these, these. I think we've picked up all the loot crates on this level so we can 
sell just the remaining coins. And out with the emeralds. Anything left? Nope. Looks all that's left is the old iron sides. Oh, a derp. Anyone else? Not looking like it. Beautiful. Yeah, stuff like this is why I've kind of been putting off doing these looting trips until I had more means available to me. Because you can see there's not just a lot of loot, but there's a lot of variety of loot. I'm not going to bother converting those just yet. We'll convert everything that needs conversion when we get back home. Oh, that's laziness. That is laziness talking. There's no reason not to. Do this as we go. Yeah, it makes things a bit more compact anyway. I should move those up. Well, I should do the other side and then I should move those up. ships are so lovely. I don't know what I would do if I had to actually go mining for all the resources this pack expects of me until I can unlock excavators. That would just be the ultra challenge mode. The true masochist mode. And I think that's what you would have to do if you were playing on the Z-Earth map. Along with the fact that, uh, you don't even have access to the Abyss Dimensions in Z-Earth, I don't think. You get all of the uh, progression books through, like, some little dinky NPC things that appear at spawn. You're essentially just given... I, th I think it is, like, uh... It's from, like, Terrarium mod or something? I forget what the mod specifically is called, but it's a mod that uh, essentially imports a height and biome map of the Earth and converts it into Minecraft chunks. And you're stranded, I think, like... It didn't look like it was severe winter. Like, it didn't look like Siberia. But it might have been Alaska. You start off in somewhere alpine and snowy is the story there. And definitely very cold. And yeah, okay, I've got the levers already. Okay, so how are we gonna mark this thing to tell us that this is a no-go zone? Uh, this is probably the most visible area on the map. If I just scratch two diagonal lines across it, like that, okay, is that visible on journey map? Yeah, that's visible-ish. Hmm. Okay. That's how we will mark ships that have been depleted of the uh, immediate resources. There's still obviously, if I built a crusher, I could come and crush the iron itself and there's still the concrete. But that's the immediately useful stuff. Let's also get some more quartz to finish off my arrows while we're here. Just while we're in the area. Thank <laughs> you. 
Honestly, that probably should do, but... It's fine. There we go. Okay, now, where the heck are we? We need to go northeast. Yep. And hopefully, hopefully, that's enough resources to carry us all the way to excavators. With the fact that we can get uh, copper out of a pump jack. Hopefully. I guess the only worry is that I didn't get more copper. But I did get some copper gears. Oh boy. Yep, there's a weeping angel about because I'm on the forest side. It probably also means that the shark is somewhere near here. Like, he hangs out around the southeast side of the island, doesn't he? Then again, I've seen him wander far afield. Well, he hasn't visited us. And really, he hasn't been a problem. It's fine. Okay. No, no. And... Sell you... And for you, leave. It just ain't worth... If, if it ain't diamond or emerald, it ain't worth it. Not unless I'm really hard up for points and I need something. Okay, let's go finish off our arrows real quick. There we go. Yeah, 11.39 attack is not bad. Okay. Come on, game. Come on, game. Hello? There we go. Not flint and steel. Something a bit less spicy. And... Just get all the heavy stuff sorted away. And from there, we can move on down the list. Good. We have lots of iron now. That's always good to see. Next up, just all these unknown ores. Oops. So, unfamiliar, redstone, unfamiliar, unfamiliar. Lapis, unfamiliar, tin, unfamiliar, coal, gold, unfamiliar. The more familiar ores we'll just put in the ore chest. And honestly, the coal and... Oh, we, 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 uh, we've achieved some more coal. That's good. You can leave. Yeah, we'll just process these real quick. Easy as that. And look at that, we even have some more creosote processing. Life is grand. These are unfamiliar, but they look more like 
ingots and ores. And now just on to all this. Hmm. Yeah, keep those. Hmm. That really does look like iron ore. Yeah, okay. I wonder if the radiation that those emit is going through the chest. Probably. Now, if I just hammer you, you're going to drop diamonds, not those useless, unfinished diamonds, right? Same for you guys, dropping emeralds and not those unpolished emeralds. I'm going to trust you guys on this one. Excellent. My trust was well placed for once in my life. Alrighty then. A wonderful bounty we have achieved. Now, let us reflect. We need to go and take these out. Hmm, not quite 128. Oh, well. Not quite a stack. Oh, well. We can fix our OCD. There we go. So with that, I can now take some of our redstone, a bunch of our redstone. Let's take all of our redstone and let's just make a bunch of redstone engineering blocks. Yeah. I need to make a bunch of iron ingots. No reason to waste smeltery time on this. It probably is faster to do this by the block right now. If only because the pouring is so slow. If it was just a matter of melting them, if I had some like super parallel lies, like a hundred tables that somehow never got unevenly full. But I don't. That's probably sufficient. And then I need a little bit of copper, right? Right. Little bit of copper. And as many as you can. Oh, of course. How silly of me. If you would be so kind, thank you. That's a good start. And now, on to the light engineering. Let's see if we can make 10 crafts worse. So, to make light engineering, I need to take those. Hmm, lots of... I should probably just have that on my recipes list. I can take that HP capacity. Why is that on there? Don't need those. I guess Squeezer can stay. Okay, so I need all my gears, all my components again. I probably shouldn't have wasted quite so many. A bunch of iron and a bunch of copper. And let's see what we can do with that. We can do four crafts of that because I wasted a bunch of mechanical components. 
Well, that means it's time to smelt a bunch more mechanical components. Like that many. Honestly, we probably have enough for the moment anyway. Where did they go? There did they go. Why did I put them there? Not even I know. But yeah, you can definitely see that I'm going to want to source for those copper gears. I'm going to need, for the generator blocks, I'm going to need a ton of steel, yes. But I'm also going to need a ton of copper for all these. And iron for steel, we can source relatively easily. Coal, charcoal, a bit more difficultly, but not impossible. But copper, copper we just don't have an easy source for right now. So needs must. Okay, so I need to make four of those pistons. I remember that's one of each engineering block. as well as some cobble and some wood as per usual. And that's nice and easy. Now onto the heavy engineering block themselves. More bronze gears, a little bit of electrum, and some steel stuff. Bronze gears, nice and easy. Steel stuff, nice and easy. Electrum. I got a little. Hmm. Well, I did encounter some Galena veins in my prospecting trip. And that is the source of silver right now. Also, I think I have. Pardon me, hiccups. Oh dear. Mm. Yeah, I've got a little bit of silver in here. Honestly, I probably should. So that's uh, 1734 ingots worth. Just break up a ton of gold. I don't even know if I need to do this. It's just kind of on general principle. If you're throwing a bunch of stuff in the smelter and you're doing it by ingot instead of by block, break up a ton of blocks. Okay, so I need 34 gold to match that 17 silver or Oh, that's not pouring. Yeah, that's fine to just throw in. It'll melt and mix. If it comes out as electrum plates because I just carelessly leave it and forget about it, it's fine. We'll melt the electrum plates. Is electrum plates even a thing? Yeah, it is. Is that a useful thing? Eh, for medium voltage wiring, technically. Hmm. Okay, da, 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 da. I was making heavy engineering blocks. And eight steel. And that should do it. Nope. Three more electrum. Silly me.
Okay, so... Remind me, book... What exactly did I need? I need one redstone... Oh, no, wait, this is wrong device. Let's see, one redstone, two light, two heavy. I've got one redstone in there and there. So, two light, two heavy. And that's kind of it. Okay, do a test. Take everything out. Yep, check, check, check. We've got a pump jack in a box. Now, how's this going? This is going swimmingly. Ah, yes, of course, I had that steel. I forgot about that. I'd say we're building up a nice little comfortable nest egg of supplies. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't need anything, but might as well fill it up all the way. Beautious. Now we need our target. Let's see here. Molten hard carbon. There, that's the one that we want. That beautiful, big, molten copper vein. Glorious. Can I see it from here? No, I need to go outside to see it, probably. Yep. So, just keep that in my pocket. Um, What am I going to need to process it? I'm going to need a few more fluid pipes. I think it automatically outputs to fluid pipes. I'm going to need some casting tables and I'm going to need some hoppers. I think I saw another bit of seared stone in one of these. There. I need to melt some more clay. Now let's do this all casting tables. And it's fine by me. And I am going to need some casts. Hmm. Is copper plate a thing that's at all useful? Technically, because it can be used to make wire. But, on the other hand, if I just want to make wire, then I could just run it through a metal press. That's a bit slow. I could just melt it in the smeltery and mass cast it as plates. That's not exactly speedy. Hmm. Hmm. Do I just want to be building up a supply of plates for the sake of having them? Is the question. I'm leaning towards no. I think I will be happy having mostly ingots with a few gears. Yeah. That sounds like a resource mix that is desirable. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's get those casts made. So... I think I will have eight 
ingot casts and two gear casts from my 10 tables. That sounds like a reasonable mix. So for that, I'm gonna need 20 iron, 20 gold. And also, I suppose I should get the hoppers a crafting. Wow. We're out of those already. Okay, wow. Neat. You know what? I'm just going to throw out these boards and I'm going to get some sequoia on the cooker. Slabs. They are slabs, not boards. Boards are actually a thing. Stop calling them boards. I'm going to keep calling them boards. I should just accept this fact. Okay, regardless, let's get as many crafted as we can get crafted. Oh, shoot, we need to deal with the creosote. Mm. Uh, let's just... Yeah. This is why I'm eager to work on automating these resources a bit more so that I can have carpenters for each of the resources. Where did it go? Right. Where did it go? I, I shift left clicked the LV connector and it just disappeared. Did it fall down here somehow? Well then, we need a new saw blade. Beautiful. Oh, that explains it. Okay, and where did I put my ing my nougats? That is what you should need to make a chest, right? Yeah. That's a different looking nugget. Do I literally just need to hammer it twice? Because it has slightly different stats? Okay, whatever. Bizarre or dictionary shenanigans. Everyone's favorite. Bizarre lag spikes. Everyone's other favorite. Okay. That's good. 
That's exactly what we needed. So then I'm gonna need 20 of these. I'm gonna need, I don't have any glue. I do not have any glue. Well, time to give that glue recipe a try. Uh, yeah, let's just do this with this liquid clay. Oh boy, we need to do this again. And just get in there. Did I lose anything to the sea? I don't think I did. There we go. And I should really make that wall outlet easier to reach. But we're kind of... We're in one of those awkward teenage phases of the game right now, I think. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, I didn't have any of that specific type on hand. Okay. All right, treat of sticks and ash also go in there. Because, yeah, I don't think there's any other device I uses unless I wanted to get into bees. And I don't. Well, technically, these hemp rope coils, the immersive engineering tools. If I wanted to start building water wheels and windmills of my own instead of just relying on the ones I've stolen, yeah, okay, there might be, there might be cause for having a supply of these sticks elsewhere. There might be. Wow, are you done already? You are. You are just Hercules. Well. Regardless. So, liquid clay. Are there any other recipes that go into the carpenter for this? Yeah, a couple. Hmm. Oh, we can might we can make concrete powder of our own. Okay. I think that there's a vanilla glitch for duplicating concrete powder, too. Hmm. Or any gravity block, really. I'll have to look into that. Oh, we can start making fertilizer. If we could just find a source of appetite. Which we could do from bees, no. No, that won't be happening. R regardless. Okay, so the glue uses just 200. It's reasonable. Oh, we don't have much of this. Oh, that's a problem. Yeah, that's a big problem. Clay ball. Do you have any recipes that would be easily made if I had a crusher? Hmm. Well, you know, the uh the tool rod experiment for sponge was uh was a good attempt, but I think it's not a keeper. In the end, it was just a little bit, a little bit too, uh, our reach exceeded our grasp on that one. Right, that's why I had the other four bricks.
and then these two. Uh huh. And let's just keep on piling all that up in the box. Keep our inventory a bit clear. This unfortunate sin must be forgotten. And let's get us a new tool rod for the shove it. And tool rod. Yep. Unfortunate that it's just not all that useful. And let's go get some clay. This shouldn't take but a moment. That's salt. I imagine that we've cleared out all the vanilla clay near our base, pretty much. But now we can start converting the, uh, the improper clay into something a bit more civilized. And our shovel is high enough here that by pyrotech rules it all comes out as clay balls now. Just being careful not to touch anything else. Until you accidentally sprint forward, at least. <laughs> it's fine. I should have just set up filters, but it's fine. We've got enough. One of these days, I'll perfectly dolphin dive out of the moon pool, and it'll be really cool. Yeah. Everyone will see it and they'll just clap. And all that derp and all that stupidity will be worth it. That's how that'll go. That's how reality works. I don't think I'm going to keep any of this other stuff. Okay, so. Slime. Need slime. Who was I keeping slime in here? So, slime, clay, more clay, and pulp. Mix glue, huzzah. We need a bit more. Does Hopper still have a do? Okay. Sure, let's continue cooking it down and pouring it out. And maybe pay a modicum of attention to it this time, see if we can get it all processed relatively cheaply. Okay, but that should be enough glue to do our job. Oh, right. The saw blade. Dirt. But yeah, isn't this a pretty wood? It's fireproof, too. Naturally. Okay. New saw blade. Need my pebbles. Need meteorite. And let's just start working our way. Need more pebbles. Mm. 
And then I'm just gonna need eight of these. Eight of these. No, wait, four of those. And four of those. Then eight of these. And eight of those. And I won't go for obsidian. I think the boost in production is better than the boost in durability. So, saw. Bone. I forgot the bone tier. I forgot I needed to go to the bone zone. It's the obvious joke, but obvious jokes are obvious for a reason. That wasn't so bad. It was time to refill the sawmill anyway. Probably because I left it burning uselessly that whole time. Not going anywhere yet? Neat. Do I have anything in the smelter? Yeah, I do. Oh boy. Um... Yeah, back to plates, I think. Did I put my plates cast in the... I did. Continue production, please. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm just waiting on the wood now. I think that this saw's slower. Hmm. Do I still have a bellows from... Yeah, so I put that there. What's taking ya? Do I need to reset it? Yeah, that did it. That did it. I probably just blew through a ton of fuel doing that. Yep. It's fine. And that should be enough to get me my hoppers. No, not quite. There we go. And now, the last thing we need is a power source, which for the moment, I'm just going to use our battery. Just to get a little bit of base resource flow going. Oh, we're also going to need a final storage. Uh, for now, I'll use the wooden storage crate, but... Mm. Yeah, I'll use the wooden crates for now, just to build up a little bit of resources to bring back to base. That sounds like a plan. So, shouldn't I, have, shouldn't I have used the stone rods in the? Mm, I I don't know. I don't know. Regardless, regardless, have we got everything? I need some. I'm probably going to need more. Let's bring all our wires and our relays just in case. We're also going to need another connector for the battery itself. Well, we would have picked that up from here. Wait a minute. Was that on output mode the whole time? I'm going to be angry at myself if it was. Where's my voltmeter? Yeah, it was. It was on output mode that whole damn time. Shoot. 
Well, we still have most of a million RF in there. That'll get a little bit. Okay, and I think with that, we have a production line in a box. Now all we need is to sally forth and get us some copper. Okay. So, let's always make sure that we're within the chunk. And let's get our, our book and let's pause it and start laying it out. So it looks like that initial layer used this, this, and those. Okay, so starting from the light engineering block, let's start this kind of in the corner of the chunk, just in case we want additional pump jacks in the future. Then it was like, yeah, with two more layers after that and a lag spike to go with it. Then it was a layer of fluid pipes in a T pattern with additional scaffolding like so in another T pattern. Okay, on to the next level. That's engineering and redstone and our two fence posts. And the heavy, and the heavy, in between them. Like so, right? Yeah. And then the fence posts on these two over here. Yeah, and the fence posts just go up all three spaces. Okay, and the two engineering blocks are right on top of each other. I don't know why I only took out the one. Okay, then the four steel scaffolding go out like, or, or no, the four sheet metal, and then down into the two of those, so. That go on the, yeah, that goes on top. So, like so, two, three, four. And then it was also at the end of it, right? Yeah, like so. And that should do it. Did I forget the hammer? I forgot the hammer. <sighs> really, I suppose the only reason why I have that tool shelf and I'm offloading onto it is because I don't have backpacks yet. I mean, they're the same size as these treated wood chests, but a backpack feels more like what you keep your tools in as versus, you know, something you have to put on the ground. So I'm waiting on that backpack before I always have all my tools with me. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now I believe that I click on this one, that one. There we go. The pump jack. Ah, beauty. Beautiful. Glorious. Light it up. With random torches that don't look like they belong on it. Yeah, all the blocks are still technically there. 
they're just uh, given a different model. And animation. Okay, so. Yeah. Wait, it has a physical item output? No, that's just two liquid outputs. Okay, cool. So, let's take our liquid output, one level up, and let's put down, where did I put down the chest? There. Let's put down our 10 tables. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. It's technically uneven, but what are you going to do? And... Let's put this in on one end. And this in on another. With... Our eight. Of those and two of those with two hoppers leading to that one and eight hoppers leading to that one. Stupid grass. Yep. And then just run the liquid pipe. And now all we need to do is give it power. Which let's just withdraw everything else. I can't believe I had this running in output mode that whole damn time. How many people were yelling at me for that? Where does this thing take power? Over here. I don't know if that's enough to run it at full speed. We'll just have to see. It lives. It jankily, slowly lives. Because while we have a lovely cornucopia of energy on hand, which is draining relatively fast, we really don't have enough energy output. I would need probably a medium voltage cable to run this thing at full speed. Maybe a high. Regardless. Pump jacks operate pretty fast. Like, if I go and I look at my tables, yeah, they all fill up. Even not running at full speed, even running at, at janky speed, these things are filling up pretty fast. And already we should have a little bit of resources coming in. Uh-huh. So now, when I want copper, I can just come in and run this thing, and I will eventually have a nice collection of gears and ingots. So, I know that... Well, this isn't technically against the rules, so long as I announce it. Between episodes, I am just going to sit here. I might go and refill the battery once or twice. Yeah, I'm going to have to. And I'm just going to AFK here, and I'm going to get myself a collection of copper. That sounds like a plan to me. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to come back to a nice collection of copper ingots and copper gears. That sounds like a fun time to me. I'll see you then. Yeah, that's... This is way insufficient. I'm going to need to make some sort of power system for this thing. Hmm.